What's going on guys? It's your boy Scary Soldier back with another Borderlands 3 video and in today's video we are going to be doing another weapon review and this time it's going to be on the engulfing phaser. Now moving on this gun has some pretty decent stats on it. Not the best, not the worst, but gearbox basically enhanced the overall base damage of the weapon so that's what we're going to be looking at today so we got close to 5,000 damage i've seen some uh, other versions like in different elements have over 5,000 damage base but the fire rate is great the mag size is quite high very similar to kind of like a shred of fire um where it has good fire rate good mag size and also a pretty decent base damage not the best like i said before but we do have this in radiation with sentinel cryo so this is a pretty pretty good combination uh for our testing now what's really cool about this uh this weapon is that it also has a shotgun mode so you have two modes you have rifle mode and you have shotgun mode now the rifle mode is just normal assault rifle type of things but where this gun gets good is where the shotgun mode is at because if you guys see it has six uh, ammo count but at the cost of one ammo you're getting about seven to eight projectiles per shot and all that is splashed by the way so you can imagine with a mo's character how much damage you guys are going to be able to do with that mode so pretty much that is what we're going to be trying out today and also we're just basically using our zayn reborn build uh with the same setup typically i think it would be better even to try this on mo's but who cares we're going to be trying out this on zayn so let's go and check out the gameplay Okay guys, so we're gonna be testing out the weapon right over here and we're gonna be using mostly the shotgun mode. Now with most players, y'all be able to regen ammo very efficiently. So you guys can pretty much stay in shotgun mode for a long time, but with Zane, we're gonna have to be switching back and forth, but that's all right. We're gonna see what this baby can do um, in a real life situation. And then we're gonna take this to some end game content. So let's go ahead and start shooting. Ooh, nice. Shotgun mode? Yo, the shotgun mode is godly. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, you did waste your life. Yo, do you hear what these enemies are saying? Even the rifle mode is actually really not that bad because the fire rate is super high on it. Ooh. get a couple more of these enemies and we're gonna probably take this over at the Maliwan takedown whoa what the hell oh this guy's kind of tanky oh, I'm missing my shots oh we don't have the sentinel active either okay that's fine all right let's get it back real fast yeah if you guys are gonna use this gun definitely stick to shotgun mode and use Moe's you're gonna get the most out of it for sure couple more enemies to go we're gonna kill them all here why not Woo. that shotgun mode is gnarly yep all right one more dude let's finish him off Ooh, we were a little fast there okay done all right so that was that not too bad overall we're gonna go try this somewhere else and see what it's like over there Slaughter Shaft versus the Phaser. Let's get it. So we got some beefcakes in front of us. Let's see what this gun can do. We're going to rip out shotgun mode real fast. And we're going to go to town on him. We got our boy Zane with all his DPS going ham. Look at those explosions, guys. Looking pretty, pretty sick over there. Ooh, this guy's kind of tanky. Hold up. Missed our couple shots there, but let's see what we can do. Yo, the gun is not that bad. I can really see this gun actually being good on like a Moe's build, uh, focused on like splash and doing some ammo regen so you can maintain the shotgun mode as much as possible. But overall with Zane, um, it's actually not horrible. Um, I would probably rank this maybe like a, a B tier type of weapon. So it's not an A and it's not an S, but it is definitely not a bottom feeder <laughs> if you guys want. But whatever, man, this thing is not horrible. I mean, think about it, guys. It used to be even worse. This thing had like maybe what? around 2000 something base damage so they doubled it now i think they could actually maybe even tripled to times forward that but honestly it's actually not that bad and if you guys maintain your shotgun mode with a mose you guys are all good to go now the most important question is should you farm this weapon well that is up to you i personally wouldn't actually farm it to be honest with you there's a ton of better uh assault rifles in the game but it's up to you guys to decide maybe you guys can make a sick um mose build with it but let's move on on where to farm it 
If you guys liked what you saw in the gameplay and thought the weapon was good, you can farm the weapon for yourselves. All you got to do is go to Necra de Fea or Feo and go to the Tazendir ruins. I love saying that. And you're going to make your way over here. I'm going to pin it for you guys in the purple with a waypoint. And basically the enemy you're looking for is called Atomic. He also comes with another friend called Celestro. And basically you're going to kill those guys and hope and pray that you guys get it to drop. So we're going to see you over there and we're going to see if we get lucky enough to get the drop on camera and let's go ahead and shoot up atomic and his buddy sylvester stallone <laughs> yep we got nothing see you in the next one guys